What up, YouTubers? Waspray back again with the big DVD collection part two. Um, one change I've done to this went from 15 DVDs per video to 25. It'll get us through the collection a lot faster. So, once again, we're going alphabetical, starting from where I left off. Um, if you have any comments or feelings about the DVDs that I show, uh, please post a comment below. And also, if you feel like doing a review or anything like that on any of the DVDs, I think that would be awesome. So, anyways, here we go. Uh, the first one we got here is a three-pack that's got All Dogs Go to Heaven, Rockadoodle, Secret of Nim. Uh, this is my wife's again. I never really got into any of these movies. I know a lot of people liked them. Um, I was a little bit older when these came out. My wife's a little bit younger than me, so I think that might play a part in it. Um, Altered States. I got this from from a friend. Oh, I got it upside down. As a gift. And he told me it was good. I don't think it's my type of movie, but if you guys have seen it and have an opinion on it, let me know. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Not bad. It's not as good as the old cartoon, but it was better than I thought it would be. Not a bad family movie or kids movie. American Beauty. Never seen this. I know a lot of people like this movie. Um, I just have a hard time getting into these. American Dreams. Another one I have not seen. I don't know much about it. Um, Mandy Moore's in it. That's, uh, I don't have any problem with that. Amityville 3D. Um, I think this is a newer uh, release of the Amityville. Amityville. Uh, no glasses included in this, but uh, anything 3D is, is cool in my book. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll be checking it out. Anime, you can't say this today. I've got, I think, two more to go. <laughs> Amityville Horror. Can't speak today, I'm sorry. Anchorman. This is a good one. I don't really like Will Ferrell, but this is possibly the only good movie, in my opinion, he's ever done. I know a lot of people like his movies, but I just think they're a crappy version of a Jim Carrey movie. This one's kind of a cool one. Army of Darkness Director's Cut. Um, I, this used to be worth a little bit of money, but I don't think it is anymore. When I got mine, too, it kind of sucks. The insert was all, um, in the box, the insert was all creased. And I bought it when it was brand new. I didn't, I didn't get it used or anything, so it's just from the company that way. And it is numbered, which is really cool. There's a lot of editions of Army of Darkness. Um, I've seen a lot of them. I think this is my favorite one, and I think it's the only one I have as well, but it's a sweet DVD. And that's a, obviously an awesome movie. Cary Grant, Arsenic and Old Lace. This is my wife. She likes Cary Grant. She wants me to try to watch some of these with her, but I'm hesitant. Um, 13th Wolfman, if you're watching this, or anybody is watching this that's into these Cary Grant movies, we have multiple Cary Grant box sets. Is there one in particular that you think, somebody that's not usually into these kind of like romantic comedy kind of stuff, would like that he's in. Uh, maybe there is a Cary Grant movie that I'll give a shot. And uh, just let me know if there is one that you think uh, I'd have a better chance of liking. Artie Lang, Jack and Coke. This is really funny. I got this for really cheap too. But this is a funny, it's a stand up comedy DVD, but I like Artie Lang. Um, I like this DVD. It's definitely a good one. Atlantis. Once again, I thought this movie was okay. My wife really likes this movie, but I was older when this came out, and I wasn't as big of a fan of it. Atomic Blue, a Mexican wrestler. I have not watched this yet, but obviously, um, well, not obviously. If, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a luchador fan. Uh, I love Mexican wrestling, so. Attack of the Giant Leeches. Monster movie. Um... Got this recently. I haven't watched it yet. Anybody can tell me how it is. Um, it's kind of a lower on the list of the monster movies that I have to watch. I just got it for so cheap that I couldn't pass it up. So 
Let me know. Have you guys seen Attack of Giant Leeches? Is it good? Audrey Hepburn story. One I'm not interested in at all. But my wife is interested in that. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. I like this Austin Powers the best. Um, Heather Graham's in it. Fat Bastard's in it. Mini Me is in it. It's a really good one. Obviously, I think I think everybody has seen that, right? The Aviator. Not gonna watch this, but uh, it's, it's, I think it's my wife's movie. And I, I think this is a really popular movie as well when it came out. The Bachelor. Another one I'm not interested in watching. Oh, God. This is a good one. <laughs> Back to the Beach. Oh, I used to watch this as a kid. Pee well, the main reason I watched it as a kid is Pee Wee Herman was in it. This is an awesome family movie. Um, it's just so funny. The characters in it are just awesome. This this beach guy. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on this. This is definitely a good movie. I don't know if anybody else likes this. I don't know if this movie is even popular or people have heard of it, but I think it's a good one. It's a good, like I said, it's a good family movie. Bad Boys 2. Another one I don't really like, but my wife likes this movie. Uh, Bad Channels Volume 1. Haven't watched this yet. Found it at a pawn shop. I don't really know much about it. I've heard of it before, but I don't know... Uh, a lot about it. Bad News Bears. Haven't seen this one either. Heard it's good. Honestly, I have so much other stuff I want to watch. This probably won't be watched for a while. Unless my wife really wants to watch it. Bad or Santa. I like this movie. I Heather Graham was my favorite actress for a while. I just think she's gorgeous, so... Um, Heather Graham's in it. What more could a dude want than Heather Graham? Not much. And the last one on the series is Get Aboard the Bandwagon. It is a Technicolor, so I'll give it that. It's probably the, it's probably the coolest thing about this DVD in my eyes that it's in Technicolor. Uh, it's another one of my wife's, Fred Astaire. I mean, I think it's a cool DVD to have. I'm, I'm not saying that. It's just not my my style, but my wife is building a pretty cool collection of these classic um, movies that are, I think it's a cool collection, but um, it's just it's just something I'm not personally interested in. So, anyways, these movies go a little bit longer with 25. I'll see how many views this gets and compare it to the 15 and we'll go from there. Uh, but like I said before, if you have any comments, you want to do a review, you've seen any of these, you have a different opinion on these, Post it below, post a video response, and thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.